Welcome once again guys in my YouTube channel Today we're going to fix E1 error of this LUL EWP C901 slash N And let's open it up Okay, let's wait Okay E1 appears and how to fix this issue if this appears guys the compressor won't engage and the compressor is located right here okay and here is the line 4 and 5 is for the power supply and compressor is right here okay we can activate that unless we fix this issue power off unplug and we're gonna change this okay uh, this is an old model and it's been replaced okay guys the reason why this NTC sensor got an E1 error it's because it's reading or its value is changed a good NTC sensor must have a reading of 7 to 10 kilo ohms while this one okay gonna use clip here and let's show, I'm gonna show you what is the value of this sensor why we got an error of E one error I only got one kilo ohms and I have a replacement with me here and I'm gonna show you what is the reading of a good NTC sensor and look what we got here we got 8.94 kilo ohms so we're gonna use this one Install this in the rear part of this control. Napakalumana. It's already old, guys. But I guess it's still functioning for killer purposes. Okay? Never use this in freezer. There is no parameter for the defrost intended for chiller only okay, the press not done let's put the power supply here and let's power it on again on. see so my room temperature is 28 degrees Celsius and the output light on and let's check if the compressor engaged already okay guys E1 error fix and let's put a load for the compressor and this is substitute for the compressor and the output this light up means the compressor is now activated and we're going to access the red part of this and take note guys this is already an old unit and 
take a look guys if this fan motor will spin as I'm going to connect this one okay, terminal number two okay here number two and I'm going to look for the line here this is the supply okay this one here is the line Still working guys though the unit is very old okay if you like this video guys please follow me by clicking the subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be updated just in case I have any videos thanks for watching until then